Hi, I'm Rosa from Spain. I want to be a pilot but I don't know where to start, until I discovered AviationFly.com. I'm so excited to reach my pilot dreams. Here are some of the things you need to do or have before starting your pilot training. Research what kind of pilot you want to be and the pilot license required. You may use Google, YouTube, online forums, or AviationFly.com. You should also possess these basic requirements before starting your pilot training. You should be at least 17 years old to receive a student pilot license. You need to be a high school graduate. You need to be able to speak, understand, write, and read in English. You also need to pass the medical exam. Take note that the basic requirements may vary depending on where you are planning to do your pilot training. Here are the different training stages you need to go through to become a commercial pilot. First, you need to have a student pilot license. It allows you to start your pilot training with a licensed instructor. After that, you need to have a private pilot license. This license will allow you to fly as a hobby or for leisure. Finally, you can get a commercial pilot license. It allows you to be paid for your flying services. Here are some of the careers you can pursue after getting your commercial pilot license. Airline pilot corporate or business aviation pilot, cargo pilot, charter or air taxi pilot, flight instructor, medical or air ambulance pilot, agricultural pilot. Do you have any questions about pilot training? Comment below. One of the questions we are always getting is, what is a cadet pilot program? Continue watching to know more. Hi, future pilot. In this video, we will talk about cadet pilot program. Stay tuned till the end of the video because we will tell you what airlines offer this program. Good luck, future pilot. What is a cadet pilot program? Cadet pilot program is one of the routes to become an airline pilot. The airline will do the screening process and interviews with individuals with little or no flight experience. The airline will then choose the individuals who will work for them after the program given that they will pass all examinations and exams. There are two kinds of cadet pilot programs. The first is self-sponsored, in which the cadet is responsible for the whole cost of instruction. The other is airline-sponsored training, in which the airline pays for the entire training and the cadet signs a contract to work with the airline for 7 to 10 years. This program is available on many airlines around the world. British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, Cathay Pacific, and AirAsia are only a few of them. Good luck, future pilot. If you have any questions about Cadet Pilot Program, comment below.